Okay, so tonight is October 2020 at 10.38 p.m. USA Mountain Standard Time. I'm just making part two of the video that I posted previously about bitching about this stupid cunt won't not leave me alone. Mika, yes. I'm fucking talking about your fucking sorry ass. So anyway, there was... On the last video, I left out a clip that wasn't included in the first video. So I'm gonna just post it and then I'm gonna continue on from there. Yep, so... Why do you think I'm fucking going insane? I fucking lost it a long time ago. This guy needs to be fucking seriously kicked in the fucking balls. Right across the fucking football field. Then you fucking make it through the fucking touchdown. It's good. You fucking kicked his fucking balls to a fucking football field. See what I'm fucking talking about? So, yep. Now we're in July. Fucking kinker slut. Fucking gutter whore. Now we're in June. And it fucking keeps going on and 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 on till it never fucking ends. Again and again. Now we're in May. Again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Yep, every fucking single day, now we're in April. Okay, so, fuck that. Now we go to email abuse and look how fucking this is obvious messages then I'm gonna go on and on and on and on and on and on and on Hello, please answer me. I'm waiting your message. All a fucking tunnel. Multiple fucking numerous fucking examples. This guy is fucking far off. Far off. Fucking his fucking manip manipulative. It's all good though, because I have all of this accounted against you. I'll go slow so you guys can read. I can't get enough of you. I want to put my lips all over your body. I know 
you want to be with me. This is fucking lies. All he wants to do is just fucking get in my pants and fuck me a few times. And then you will fucking get tired of my ass. And then you will start treating me like shit. And I get fucking fed up with your bullshit. And I fucking watch. You'll see. Okay, so that's the end of the previous clip that I left out in the first video, but here we continue on to the video. So that way I could explain. I think you pretty much know about the first part, what is going on, but I am completely just trying to do this video so that way this asshole could fucking be aware of and he knows what he's fucking doing. He thinks it's a fucking joke. He thinks it's very fucking funny, but do you think it's going to be funny in front of the fucking cops when the reports are submitted? I'll be the I'll be the last one fucking laughing at your fucking stupid sorry ass when your ass is in fucking jail where you fucking deserve to be put. Okay, so here we go back to Gmail. My first email address, tluna6578 at gmail.com, which is my primary and is going to be my priority to delete this account. So that way this fuckface could have no way in getting contact with me. And then, like I said, this guy doesn't want to stop. So this is going to be an update for right now, live at 10.43 p.m. I haven't organized some of the incoming email over the past days because I've been busy. But You want to sleep with me at 9.40, 9.36, that's just an inbox. I'm pretty sure it's probably sent in promotions too, but I'm not going to look into that. But, nope, not that one. Emil abuse. Uh, that's the wrong category. Watch, I just wanted to tell spam real quick. Let this phase out. Or I could just prevent it and just do it again. Okay, that was an error, sorry. Okay, so these are the one I wanted to mention. It's like 940, 936. Spam. Come on, fucking computer, you're being fucking slow. And there you go again. After one, after another, in a fucking row. 921, 922, 923, 934. So like I said, these fucking emails are not organized. I gotta organize all these to the right categories, but dating sites, Mari Inhale, male enhancement products, Facebook. Obviously he is fucking looking at my profile on Facebook. More bullshit. Unsolicited fucking illegal bullshit. If it fucking sounds like I'm repeating myself, well, obviously I'm fucking trying to explain these fucking repeated 
behavior patterns that fucking it's just gonna get you into fucking straight up trouble you're fucking asking for it so why the fuck not tell you it's gonna fucking blow up in your face and you think it's a fucking joke but you're not gonna realize until it fucking happens right more male enhancement again direct fucking email abuse suspicious direct messages fuck you you asshole foreign scam see they fucking always want to promise me fucking millions that's bullshit dude these fucking desperate fucks from overseas think so they could fucking just commonly scam you for something that's very common that's fucking has been a common scam for a long fucking time and you don't think people fucking don't realize that fucking people from overseas fucking foreign countries try to fucking try to manipulate people for their fucking crimes and fucking robberies seriously there's some fucking sick people in the world See, there you go. The short acronyms again. I'm probably spoofed. Nope. I'm fucking surprised this is not fucking spoofed. So, we continue. Yesterday was October 19th. So, I gotta fucking delete the ones that fucking don't apply to me. Like this one. Fucking dick pills. Why do I fucking need dick pills? I do not need fucking dick pills. Oh, look, what a dumbass. Check this out. Please stop sending your naked image for me. Fucking loose in the fucking head, you dumb fucking sociopath. Spoof tunneled. Fucking more bullshit. More fucking dating unsolicited. Seriously, dude, there's more fucking people in Albuquerque than just fucking online dating. Do you think I'd be fucking interested in this bullshit? Male enhancement. Male enhancement. Look at this fucking borderline fucking asshole, dude. It reminds me of a fucking, uh, a high school kid that fucking, um, suffered from his first heartbreak and he's fucking, he can't let it go. That's what it fucking reminds me of. Fucking stupid childish behavior. Okay, so I think we already went over this on October 17th. Fuck this bullshit. So, I'm gonna end this fucking... I'm gonna end this fucking um, part of the video of showing you the examples. Now, from time to time, here and there, and when, and fucking when. I had written down all these little notes before I had forgot what I had thought about because if I do not write my thoughts down quickly, they escape my mind and sometimes I forget what I have thought before. So just here and there, time after time, I've been just writing these little notes. So I'm going to go over that and then I'm going to show... Um, details how to uh, manually send uh, or report this to FBI and um, yes so I'm gonna go into details on how to make a report and I do not know when this guy is gonna fucking stop but it is gonna fucking stop one day and you're gonna be behind jail Mika and you're gonna get some fucking help with your alcoholism and you're going to be sober 
and you're going to be fucking stuck and miserable and be in the worst place that you are in now because jail is no fucking joke you need to be put behind bars and make you fucking realize that life is not a fucking drinking party all day every day and just because you want to fucking feel insecure and be a little fucking shithead fucking playing your little fucking stupid bullshit internet games and you don't want to fucking grow up and leave me the fuck alone you're fucking asking for it you're gonna fucking realize the hard way that you can't fucking be doing this to women all your fucking life and you cannot be fucking people over and not get away with it believe me karma's a fucking bitch when it fucking blows up in your face Okay, so in this part, I am going to be making reports, analyzing email headers, entering it to see where I can find the IP address, identify the IP address, where these emails are coming from, and we are going to make reports to ic3.gov, which is the FBI. It is an online complaint form on cyber crime. So I am going to make a report just to show you an example. So we're going to do the first one. So what you do is that you go to these three dots, go to original, show original, copy all this. and trace email we're posting the header here verify so it says it's coming from Quebec Canada and the email sender is those at claren.com it actually shows me so if you're using a VPN just to do a different location, I'm pretty sure they could still track you down. So we're gonna go to ic3.gov. File a complaint. Submit an inner crime complaint with the IC3, Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI Internet Crime Complaint Center. So these are just instructions. They want you to give details and to be included in the complaint. Uh, what happens after I file the complaint? Yeah, I already know all this. It's just telling me terms and conditions. There's the form. And this is my personal details. I'm not going to fill that in for security purposes. Obviously, somebody already out there already has my fucking information. So this is uh, financial transactions. This part is for uh, foreign scam. Those illegal emails I was talking about that I still receive. So this is the description of the incident, how I was victimized. Please provide information not captured elsewhere in the complaint form. So um, I got that. Where the fuck is it at? I think it's right there. Oh wait, I think I already have it copied. Hold on, let's see. Oh, we don't need that. Okay, I'm gonna stop this video. I'm panicking. I'm gonna stop it real quick so that way I can... Okay, so I had this written a while back and this is the actual complaint content so I copy it. Okay, so I pasted it, and this is what I had wrote. 
in a previous complaint that I have saved for a while. And so this is my actual complaint content that I am going to submit. And I'm going to read it. I want to write into compliance that I have an ex-boyfriend who keeps excessively keeps sending inappropriate sexual content of unsolicited email spam sent to my inbox. The offender is an ex-boyfriend from Manto, Europe that he is abusing his privileges to exploit and has been electronically harassing me online for four years now. I was supposed to go to fly over to Europe to meet this guy named Mika Ajala. I refused to go meet up with him in person because I found out he was a physical abusive drunk who sexually assaults women. I want to report him for cyber abuse, cyber bully, cyber stalking on my emails. T Luna six five seven eight at gmail dot com and Evo Moon Eye at gmail dot com. That is he Miko Ajala threatens that my account has been hacked. That if I do not confirm my Gmail account, he is going my Gmail account is going to be closed. Also, I found that he is cyber stalking my internet search results from pictures of himself or or certain images, a specific message from Mika Ajala. Also, I saved all of these suspicious emails every single day. I just saved all these emails. And there is no authorization for this activity on my end or my own account party that such events will take place without my authentic authorization. Mika Ajala or some affiliation, his friends or some party in Europe keeps repeatedly sending phishing spoofing suspicious direct emails to my inbox sexually harassing me online with numerous spam emails from inappropriate sexual contact content, dating sites, pornographic material, sexual oriented emails, male enhancement products, obvious suspicious emails that Mika Jala, this offender keeps opening or creating these fake to send specific advances specific messages advances to sexual harassment online. This guy has some serial, serious psychological problems with himself. This Mika Ajala is not stable enough not to leave me alone when I had requested for Mika Ajala to leave me four years ago. He will not stop abusing me and it's causing me mental, emotional anguish and distress to my mental health. Mika Ajali is vengeful and creating malice towards my free will because I never went to through my plan to go to Europe to go meet Mika Ajala because this is that he is a hardcore alcoholic, needs some serious help, and I want to report this spiritual, verbal, mental, sexual physical, psychological abuse that I found out about IC3.gov a while back. I saved over 3,500 emails in a year time from this guy. Mika Ajala pertaining to the subject of his abusive behavior towards my free will. Mika Ajala has taken hostage over my social media accounts, my Gmail accounts, and will not leave me alone. I think all of these emails are originating somewhere in Europe. Mika Ajala, I feel sexually assaulted every single time I receive each individual email from this guy. Mika had sexually assaulted... By Mika Ajala that he forced himself onto this female and forced 
She also told me she got bruises in between her legs due to sexual physical harm caused by Mika. This female had told me that she cried home because Mika Jala sexually assaulted her and not even and even experienced trauma from Mika Ajala's sexual physical abuse. I will say this again, this guy Mika Ajala is out of control, hardcore alcoholic, sending numerous abusive emails to my inbox. I know that he is an hardcore alcoholic because when I was speaking or communicating with Mika and Jolly in 2016, he would tell me he would drink about 30 to 50 beers a night every drinking session. I met Mika Jala through Facebook in 2015 and I broke up with him in the May of 2016. Ever since we broke up in 2016, this incriminating behavior of abusive emails is reaching to my inbox. I wish to make appropriate action to report this guy Mika Jala by reporting him to the police make a police report, hire a lawyer, file a restraining order, report email headers to identify where these emails are originating from, report suspicious phishing and spoofing mail to ic3.gov. I wish to take legal action against this guy because he is a manipulative socio online sexual offender to create harm to my well-being. I am I feel victim because it has taken a toll on my mental health. I am a sufferer of schizophrenia, PTSD, anger from this guy because he takes advantage of me, his compulsive behavior. This guy's got some serious mental problems with himself and not know how to accept rejection from women. So Mika Ajala creates psychological abuse me. Please help me. This has been going on for four years already. The only reason why I have not took action against this guy is because I really didn't care to pay attention to him. Mika Ajala. I ignored him all this time and now I'm ready to report him now. Because the only way I can truly communicate with him is through Facebook. I leave negative comments against this guy. Now Twitter and Facebook had suspended my accounts because I leave threatening comments to Mika Ajala because I am so angry at this guy and now that my social media accounts are suspended due to traumatic experience online and my social media accounts state that my accounts are suspended due to comments against standard online policy which Mika Ajala makes me so distraught and angry that I have nowhere to communicate my frustrations because Mika Ajala on social media. I had tried numerous times to get social media accounts in good standing, but my social media profiles will not be activated because of Mika Ajala stalking me on the internet. He creates malice for his abusive behavior and exploitation on the internet created by Mika Ajala and his friends or some party associated who sends these suspicious emails stating that he is a computer or internet technician, that this party sends and reveals that the offender, whoever is sending these illegal emails, is exploiting by free will and it is breaking the international law and larceny over my email, my social media accounts. I saved everything from screenshots to say for proof, emails, screenshots, pictures, Facebook conversations that I was going to get raped by Mika Ajala. So there's my statement right there. Spoofed email, similar domain, email intrusion. And then this, um, it's information about the subject who victimized you. Well, Mika Ajala's name is in the statement, so... Um, if an email was used in this incident, please provide a copy of the entire email, including full email headers. So we gotta go back and go get the email header. I'm gonna copy it. We're posting that right here. 
So then I scroll down and it says, who filed the complaint? Were you a victim in the innocent, in the incident described above? Yes. And then of course, this is the Privacy Act statement just telling me terms and conditions. So I already entered talking about. Never used that button, so hopefully that's fucking effective. That's what Google had been telling me to do for a long time, but I've never done it. So this might be an extra step to fucking get another way to report this fucking worthless piece of shit. <coughs> That's what I fucking think of you, Mika. Okay, this is going to be the last part of the video to uh, conclude about my email address tluna6578 at gmail.com which is my primary email address. Now I will do another video which is going to be the second video kind of relating to the same material but different email address. I'm still receiving these emails that I showed you in my in this account. So same bullshit of my other email address, evilmooni at gmail.com. So either tomorrow or what's today? It's actually past 12 midnight, so it's Wednesday. Probably either Thursday or Friday I will get started. But I'm going to fucking keep fighting this fucking good fight because this motherfucker wants to fucking challenge me every fucking single day. And such, he is such a fucking weak man to fucking abuse women. Why don't you go fucking pick on a fucking bigger guy so that way you can get your ass fucking kicked and fucking learn your lesson to leave fucking little women alone. Actually, I think you're pretty fucking scared of a bigger dude fucking you up. I think that's the reason why you don't pick on men. Because I remember you were telling me you were getting into fights with men in Finland. And you were fucking scared to go to the fucking parties because you were going to get your ass fucking kicked. And then also too, if a man gets their ass kicked by a fucking woman, obviously he's a fucking weak man. So there you go. It fits you perfect. It fucking fits your name. So... But anyway, this last part of the video is going to be some notes written that I have uh, written down, uh, you know, just at random times. I just written all these thoughts down so I won't forget and that I can just come back and uh, use as a back uh, just to read my notes to say what the fuck I got to say. Obviously, I kind of... I gotta keep fucking fighting fire with fucking fire so my fucking fire is burning higher and fucking burning desire it's gonna fucking kill you higher you bitch you're gonna fucking burn your fucking burn down your fucking church in fucking Finland whoever the fuck you think you fucking you have some control over me just because I fucking let it slide so fucking long because I don't even give a fuck about you. That's all right. Just burn your fucking church. I'm going to be the last one fucking standing and fucking laughing at your face because you've been fucking asking for trouble for over four fucking years. You have nothing else better to do in your fucking life to fucking pick on women online because you're a sorry, miserable piece of shit. You always have your fucking head up your fucking ass. So fucking drunk that nobody wants to be around a fucking drunk mess all the fucking time. Especially when they fucking, when their breath fucking stinks. And they fucking stink of odor of fucking negative odor and alcoholic sweat. 
And especially that fucking hairy body, that fucking hairy stomach, that fucking pregnant pregnancy that you have, that little fucking child wound. That's okay, dude. I'm gonna fucking execute you, and you're gonna fucking regret you ever fucked around with me. But I'm gonna say these notes, and this is gonna be another fucking video because this is bullshit. And I feel like I'm just fucking wasting my time over and over again to fucking prove worthless bullshit. So that way you can fucking learn to fucking grow up, you fucking asshole. So you always wanted to be the fucking last one standing. But you be the fucking first one to fucking fall. You're a fucking embarrassment, Mika. You call yourself Santa Nakia. I call you Shit Nakia. And your band Azazel? Shit Zazel? You think you're fucking popular just because a lot of fucking idiots know you. That they fucking know you're a fucking drunk mess. And you're a fucking idiot. Who the fuck wants to be around a fucking fool like that? You give a fucking sad shame to those fucking names. Ladies. Dear ladies out there. Watch out for this guy. He will fucking blow up your fucking email. Get over your fucking madness. Does it fucking offend you that I fucking ignore your ass? Is that why you try so hard to bring me down to your fucking level? You fucking European hood rat. You fucking ugly, hearted piece of shit. You fucking mental disease. You are the fucking worst man I met in my whole entire fucking life. You fucking crackhead. You're so fucking clingy. And if fucking women don't pay attention to you, you fucking act so childish. And that's what somebody else had told me, that you're so fucking clingy. You're a fucking crackhead, desperate piece of shit. You are very fucking terrible. You're unpleasant. An psycho ex who will not leave me the fuck alone. You will do every fucking little single thing for me to fucking notice you, you fucking cluck. You fucking self-inflicting asshole. When you fucking try to turn everything out on me, and then you want to fucking say that it's my fucking fault that I'm sending you bullshit. Dude, you need to fucking reevaluate yourself, you fucking punk. I heard you fucking dress, dress, cross dress too, like fucking. Well, I can't fucking say it, but fucking F. You know what fucking F stands for, you fuck. So, who or what gives you the fucking right? to fucking harass me online you fucking chauvinistic pig womanizer yes fucking womanizer in the head you fucking trifling canker whore your impulsive abusive behavior you're the worst man I ever fucking met in my whole and fucking entire life can you explain your fucking obtrusive logic? You are the worst of my exes that fucking drove me insane. You are a fucking idiot with your fucking stupid pride. The bullshit that comes along with you and your malformed mind psychological drama and send malice my way because you are a fucking re a retarded drunk that acts so childish because I go in my greatest power to ignore your fucking stupid ass. You fucking shameful piece of shit pig. You also send me b abusive content over spam in my inbox with your illegal criminal activity of dating sites. Obviously, fucking indirect emails, mail enhancements products. I never fucking met anybody as foolish as the fuck you are, Mika. 
you fucking fuckface, you ass fucking piggery, fucking pig, because that's all you're fucking worth. Every time I ignore you, you are constantly trying to control me. I don't fall for your internet mind games. You have been asking for it all this fucking time, which I fucking refuse to play along with your bullshit. That I fucking refuse to read your bullshit. And it's not my fault because I changed my mind about you. You failed my test in every way when we're doing voice call and communicating. Four fucking years ago, I scarred you for life in misery in your mind of your compulsive compulsion about me. Whatever your mind is about, I destroyed you and your mind. And your greatest weakness is not to leave me the fuck alone. I have some power over you and you cannot stop thinking about me so obviously I do have some kind of power over you. The only reason I didn't or haven't reported you is because I will say this again that I fucking became numb to your bullshit didn't and don't care about reading your emails I'm calling you out that I will public shame you for calling out on your online sex predatory tendencies how you act like a fool not even to think of what you are doing what is logically right because it was over four fucking years ago. You fucking borderline sociopath. You are a fucking mind wreck. So are you fucking mad because I didn't let you take advantage of me? I am here to betray you and hurt you deeply because I know you physically hit women. Someone's gonna get fucking hurt and I know it's not gonna be me. Mika, you're fucking stale. I smell your fucking disgusting crusty ass from here. I smell your disgusting negative odor in alcoholic stench. Your fucking sweaty ass. I bet you don't brush your teeth for days, don't shower, and you have greasy gross hair. You are a fucking straight up foul pig. Beastess. Your fat, beer gut, hairy stomach that looks like you're fucking pregnant. How many fucking homos did you fuck today, Mika? I know you're the biggest whore in fucking town and fucking have sex with multiple women like a fucking disease. Spread your fucking germs like AIDS or syphilis. And your male enhancement product emails you send let me tell you something I will say this again I will fucking bust out a fucking knife and stab mutilate and castrate your fucking bubble dick I'll mutilate your fucking dick to pieces and feed it to a homeless animal shove it down your fucking throat and make you fucking choke on your own chopped off dick you fucking pass out. Deep throat, you fucking male whore. I mean, how fucking stupid can you be just because I let this slide for years because I refuse to not even pay attention to you? There are records of your emails and of course your IT party is malware. You fucking crackhead. Your emails you send is like telephone records that can be tracked down from the original sender. Your party is out there off their fucking heads. They're psychotic alcoholics who go out of their way to fucking 
malicious, maliciously send spam to my email because they have nothing else better to fucking do with their lives. So you want to fucking depend on me for my support, which by my free will you hold by ransom and take over my email account by cyber abuse, cyber stalking me electronically. What fuck you make you think that this is okay? That you want to enforce your bullshit? Trying to manipulate to communicate with me? Fuck you. All the childish behavior makes no fucking sense to me. You're the fuckest wicked man I ever fucking known. I mean, if you're that fucking so addicted to alcohol, actually you have a fucking chemical dependency which only makes you fucking retarded and can't fucking think straight. Let me fucking tell you, I stopped fucking drinking alcohol three months ago because I always found myself in trouble when I fucking got drunk. So I haven't drank and I have the willpower to fucking stop because it's a fucking stupid drug. It makes you fucking forget. It makes you fucking act retarded. It fucking get makes you get violent, which me being sober as violent as I am as a sober person can only amplify if I was fucking drunk. So I found myself into trouble and I fucking had to stop because if not, I was going to end up in jail and the best logic and the best decision that I could ever do in my life was just to fucking quit drinking alcohol. So obviously you got a fucking alcoholic fucking problem with yourself and you need some fucking serious help. And that makes me the better person because I'm fucking sober and I got a fucking good head on my shoulders. I could fucking think straight, but all this fucking frustration that you send me every day, I cannot function normally in my well-being because some stupid fuckhead is always trying to fucking go out of their way to send fucking malice and fucking try to interfere with me in my fucking life. I also have random notes that I had written down and I'm just going by each page and reading what I've written so fucking this is continue this dude sends perverted messages is always provoking directly your compulsive insecurity of hurt gets you and brings you down makes and robs you from the best of you you're so fucking stupid on your repeated patterns that will only get you in trouble with the fucking law how fucking stupid can you be i will find out who are who is hosting your emails file complaints and shut down your bullshit Analyze email headers, find out where the true IP address of the origin of your emails, like, it's like fucking seeing through glass. Duh. Your multiple weakness keeps me strong from suffering from your fucking true stupidity, Mika. So here I go, writing down my notes. So I look at this offending bullshit I receive every day from this fucking foul loser. Shit for brains, Mika. Obviously, it's fucking online sexual abuse advances where you're fucking stupid that I saved every fucking email that I saved. What the fuck are you going to do when I shut down this email address? You got no fucking power, you fucking ugly beast. Fucking rat head fuck face. When you think... Damn it for fucking foul souls inbreeding and the fucking miserable sperm squirt you are that came from supple and that one to create this most foolish bastard on earth that suffers from hardcore alcoholicism always has his head up in his fucking ass so fucking deep the most retarded bullshit to harass women online 
because you're the fucking saddest fool that I met in my whole fucking entire life. God give this guy mercy for this fucking asshole because he had proved to himself that he nominates himself to be counted as one of the fucking worst pers people on earth. You know what? Fuck your serious, critical, psychological, alcoholic, online abuse. I've never seen the worst in my whole fucking entire life. Seriously, fucking Mika. You're a fucking gutter slut. The most fucking dirtiest rat I ever fucking met. This guy acts in the worst way in human behavior when his alcoholic mental health is truly beyond dysfunctional. You need to be fucking locked up in jail because obviously some other girls have told me what type of guy that you fucking are. That you are a fucking alcoholic mess and that some people don't like you for some certain reasons. reasons others that had said about your reckless online abusive sexual assault physical abuse. That you are very insecure of yourself because you are fucking fat, hairy, gross, and that fucking stinks like rotten beer of sweat, a fucking stale, unpleasant odor. Did your fucking mom drop you on your fucking head when you were born? Because that's how you fucking act like, you fucking ass. Holy fuck, dude. If I could only just fucking explode you, you fucking sickening fly fucking pest are you fucking traumatized because I brainwashed you that I didn't know I had so much power to destroy your mind and you wanted to have sex for me and asking for sex over the internet are you mad because I have something you want for me and I don't give it to you you're a fucking trifling scandal you're a fucking sorry excuse for a fucking man Heckler, pathological, sociopath, fucking awful. You do not know what the fucking word no means. Abusive women and sexual assault to force women to have sex with you because you're fucking disgusting and gross, a fucking ghoul, a fucking troll. And when women try to pull away from you, you force and hold them down? You are a fucking parasite and the worst fucking case of fucking having to be convicted of a sex offender. If I could randomly torture you at different times unexpectedly and randomly blindfolded and I slice off your flesh little by little and I'll try to keep you alive as fucking long as I can and make you die a miserable slay slow painful death now if you wanna fucking call me crazy a fucking lunatic is because you fucking drove me that way. You fucking are taking, you're fucking taking my innocence away. And fucking, you're making me react in fucking bipolar tendencies. And you're fucking going out of your way to disrupt my fucking mental health. So, call me crazy. I don't give a fuck what you think. But I know that deep down inside, that I'll keep fucking fighting until the fucking end, until your ass is fucking put in jail, and finally you leave me the fuck alone, so that way you can go on with your life, and I can go on with mine. Fucking life goes on. If you can't fucking accept that, then fucking you're just fucking seriously mentally sick in the head.